Well, hello there, folks. Watched the racing earlier today on Racing UK, but I do record the um, ITV racing as well. And I always look to the start of the show just to see who's on it and to see what's said at the uh, at the outset of the show. Now, I knew McCoy was on the panel today, so I knew he was going to have something to say about Graham Lee. Don't know if you've seen it. Um, I couldn't believe it, really. Well, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. The hardest man I've ever seen on a, on a race course, the hardest uh, jockey, without a shadow of a doubt, in my man would be McCoy. Absolutely breaking down there when speaking about Graham Lee. Uh, I loved him for it. I did, I loved him for it. Um, he obviously uh, was close to, or is close to Graham Lee, and he means a lot to him. And it's obviously touched him. It's, it's hurting what's happened to Lee a week or so ago at Newcastle there. Um, I'd read bits in the press this week, so I, I, I knew um, McCoy was going to be in a bad way with it. I believe he's visited him this week at the hospital. But I was surprised at the level of how bad he was. Um, I don't normally like the way ITV go about the business on the racing uh, show there. They love, they absolutely revel in getting people upset, getting people crying when they've had a massive winner or or when the winner means something to them because of somebody that's died, or when it's the first winner at Cheltenham or Aintree or whatever else. They absolutely love it, and they go at it and go at it and go at it and make someone that's getting slightly upset much, much more upset. They absolutely revel in it. Um, but this was none of that. This was just McCoy himself. Um, and I thought Walsh did a good job there. Oh, Ruby, he, he pulled the um, the mic away from uh, McCoy. He knew McCoy was struggling. I think McCoy was a bit embarrassed with himself, you know, showing uh, that softer side that... Not many ever see. But I thought it was uh, commendable. I thought it was great. Um, read a few bits about Graham Lee this week. I read a couple of nice bits by, was it Paul Mulrennan? Uh, and the other Northern jockey, whose name escapes me, but shouldn't do. Um, and I think they're all feeling for him and they're all worried about him. Um, as I say, we hear that he's now communicating, he's now talking with family. But um, as McCoy said, there's lots of brews in there and what have you done. I don't think they know the full extent of things yet, but... I would wager in time things ain't going to be looking so good. When I say that, as, as I mean it, his ability to, to get around as easily as he used to. I hope I'm wrong, I really do. We've not heard anything definitive yet, but it's looking it's looking more and more of a worry as each day passes and we don't get any news. You tend to think it's not going to be the best news in the world. Having said that, the very best news in the world is actually still alive and that's important. You know, his wife and kids have still got himself and, and obviously that's important. Um, right, I'll leave it at that. Um, if you've seen it, obviously uh, you'll have probably felt the same as me. If you didn't, I'm not saying it's well worth a watch watching a guy break down. Um, but still, you sort of didn't expect it of McCoy, but then again you did, because you know under that really, really, really hard exterior, nobody's harder. There is a really nice human being there, and, and I think McCoy is that. He's loyal, he's a good man, he's a nice fella, and it showed today, it really did.